Folks, if any of you are thinking of making a movie on a real, genuine person, well, I have him in our studio. His story is totally amazing. I know all immigrants have stories. We have lots of tales to tell. But this gentleman is amazing from where he came to where he has been. Let me introduce him. His name is Dr. Vital Shetty, and he has written a book about himself, World as Seen Under the Lens of a Scientist. Dr. Shetty, welcome to our studio. Thank you, sir. Now, tell me a little bit about growing up, because you grew up in a small village in the south of India. Talk to me about it. I was... This village is far in the corner of the southern part of India, uh -huh. called Karnataka State, uh -huh. and uh, South Canada, and the village called Bola Village. It's a uh -huh. poor village, and uh, I grew up, I was born there, I was brought up there. Uh -huh. I grew up grazing cows and buffaloes, uh -huh. and uh, plowing the field, rice field, uh -huh. and collecting hay, collecting cow dung. But I did not have time to go to school, uh -huh. because I was one of the ten members of the joint family, uh -huh. and uh, I was the dumbest of all. I was one of the dumbest, I was not the, I was the ugliest, I did not look good, so I had an inferior complex at that time. Uh -huh. Whenever somebody came, I ran away to some place to hide myself until they went away. <laughs> so that's the way I grew up. So and how did you get out of that? I got up, I, I finally, I decided that I had to make something out of my life, uh -huh. so I ran away when I was only about 10 years old, to Bombay. Wow and uh, I, did not, I did not know a soul there. Uh -huh. And I sat in the corner of the sidewalk, and uh, then this old man who was uh, sitting there, and finally I went to the old man, I called him Guruji. Uh -huh. And I, I, I saluted him, I bored him, and I said, can you give me some, some place to live with you? I said, uh -huh. that's it, he took me to his corrugated hut, mud hut, uh -huh. filthy place, it's garbage dump. But I had to find a place, I had to live there. So I uh -huh. lived there with, the, the, with this old man. Then he told that we don't have money to, for the rice, for the cooking. You have to go on to do some work. Uh -huh. What kind of work? I said, the Shushan boy. So he gave me one rupee. So you have to buy some of this, whatever the word needed, and uh -huh. sit there and, and polish shoe. Uh -huh. So I did that, and uh -huh. polish shoe, and this guy, I polished so well, and he was impressed. He gave me two and a half bakshis, and it was that was that that really motivated me for the rest of my life. And uh, then I decided that I want to go to learn, go to the night school at night school, uh -huh. and I had to work in this restaurant seven days a week, five a.m. to seven p.m. every day, uh -huh. and after say seven p.m. I you know, night school. By the time I went to school for two hours, by the time I came back to 12 o'clock at midnight, and I had no place to sleep, I sat on the sidewalk, covering with the gunny bag, and sitting, sleeping for a few hours. You mean this is the sidewalk was all taken by other people, other people. that were sleeping Yeah, it was all there. taken by other people, so uh -huh. that there's no place to sleep. So finally, I, I did that, and my sister came to know that I am, I am speaking English, I'm speaking to the customers. The uh -huh. word spread to them. Uh -huh. And uh, they invited me, then uh, my sister and her, her husband were the restaurant running. Uh -huh. And uh, so they supported my education and uh, I went to day school uh -huh. and completed a day school. I joined one place, I took exam, I, I jumped two years uh -huh. ahead. Uh -huh. because, and I, I studied there for two years in that school. And the sixth standard, and I jumped again, took an exam in another place, I jumped another two years. So now you completed high school? Completed high school, Bombay University matriculation examinations, called matriculation examination, uh -huh. high school. Then I went to the, you know, two years to the college there, uh -huh. and finally I decided to go to the United States. They supported me to go to the United States. Which year was this? 1948. 1948. So I you left. started from India uh, to come uh, to the United States. August 7, 1948, I left India. Uh -huh. And I flew to Hong Kong. But the Hong Kong, to get into the ship, I took an American ship called SS General Meigs uh -huh. to San Francisco. Uh -huh. That is 21 day ship, 21 travel in the Pacific Ocean, turbulent Pacific Ocean. Uh -huh. My passport at that time was a British subject uh -huh. because the Republic of India was not that in 1948. The India uh -huh. became free in 1947. Uh -huh. But in the ship, that's completely segregated. 
uh-huh. and we are discriminated agents and Europeans are separated uh-huh. and I traveled in the surveillance tree for 21 days uh-huh. ended in San Francisco uh-huh. but in San Francisco to Philadelphia I traveled because my admission was in Philadelphia University school. of Pennsylvania yeah University of Pennsylvania that's an Ivy League school that's right yeah so I traveled there for six days by bus but then in the restaurant they did not serve food uh-huh. My companion was a black man. We are about 50 people in the, in the bus. Uh-huh. And they, they stopped for, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. But they did not serve me. They just ignored us. So we starved, actually. So you're traveling with this black companion. Yeah, and yeah, everybody yeah. thought you were black, too. Yeah. Everybody okay. was black, too. Because woman, you are not white. Uh-huh. That means you are colored. Uh-huh. That means you are no good. That means that they won't serve. They won't serve you food. No, food. Only. Okay. So we start for, for all this time. So then you landed in Philadelphia, you're going to University of Pennsylvania. What kind of degrees did you get? Well, first I went to the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy Science, which is called University of Science now, uh-huh. in Philadelphia. Uh-huh. I got a bachelor's and master there. Uh-huh.